Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargame video today by me Vulcan. Today I'm going to be joined once again by Bubblebox and Silver Raptor. If you'd like to check out Bubblebox's channel then there will be a link in the description below. Also if you'd like to see more videos like this then please make sure you check out the playlist that will be linked below. In this one we're going to be covering the Blue Dragon Armoured deck starting off with Silver Raptor going through the logistics vehicles. All right, well, I got a fob as usual, but fobs are especially important, I think, in armor decks due to the fact that with armor pushes, uh, all those tanks using up fuel, they do need to be resupplied every so often, and when they get resupplied all at once, that just empties supply trucks like no tomorrow. So yeah. I, there's definitely important to have a fob to manage to supply your tanks and uh, armored pushes. Um, for a supply uh, helicopter, I did get the CH-47D. Um, is one thing about armor pushes is that the farther and farther they get, uh, they, the longer and longer it takes for supply trucks normally to get to them. So sometimes you actually need helicopters to try to catch up with the tanks uh, to help keep them going. And then, of course, I got regular uh, Chugata cargo trucks because I like to look better than the uh, K511 cargoes, which I know Vulcan is glaring angrily at me for. <laughs> okay. And your and it, commands? MRCV, since this is an arbor deck, I decided to tail into the spirit of things and get a Nana Yon Shiki ACV tank. Okay, cool. Right. Vulcan. Um, okay, so. For my CVs, I actually have two CVs again. I like to take my two CVs. I've got the Nana San uh, Shiki CV and a Nana Yon Shiki A CV, the tank. Um, that's uh -huh. a, it's a really, really cheap uh, tank CV. So I think it's worth having anyway. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it doesn't have anything that it can particularly defend itself against air or like, you know, artillery is going to get to it as well, especially if it's like an AP power sort of stuff which is kind of annoying like if a um i don't know what kind of air artillery smirch well yeah if you're playing oh yeah yeah of course yeah a smirch yeah so yeah the smirch can take this out pretty easy which is kind of annoying but yeah definitely still a good uh, command unit i've got a fob i've got the ch47d and i do indeed have the uh, k511 cargoes instead of the chugata cargoes because of aesthetics, so <laughs> you are right there. I, I think I, I like the look of mine better than yours. Oh, I'm you sorry. love those little box trucks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, 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 they're so I'm cute. I'm going to have the final vote on this one, obviously. <laughs> yeah, what I've got. But for me, uh, first do my commands first. I was thinking about getting a tank command, but then I thought, well, if I get a tank command, I really have to get another command as well, because you can't kind of just have a tank command. So instead, I did go for the armoured, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the M113A1 command um, of the Japanese, I think it is. No, sorry, of the Koreans. Yeah. So I went GB for that in the end. Yeah, because you get you get five of them, so I don't have to get an, like an extra one. Oh no, hold on, you get seven of them. Yeah, you get seven. Oh, okay. Oh no, no, five, five. Yes, you get. Five I was going to say seven. Yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> what game are you playing? I, I I've got my game's called Clicking on the Wrong Unit. I know I've got a fob as well, of course. This time I've got the CH fourteen D as well, and I have got the Chagata cargo trucks. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Aha, victory is mine. So good looking, these trucks. I had to get them. Anyway, let's They've move on. They've got three windshield wipers. How many trucks do you have yeah. to have three windshield wipers? <laughs> let's move on to the infantry then, uh, Vulcan. Okay, so <laughs> in the infantry, um, I'm starting off with a couple cards of Sachongsu 85 with the KAFV 4050s. Uh, the KAFV 4050 is basically an lvt p7a1 um incredibly yeah. strong apc to support your infantry the grenade launcher with the 1225 meter range incredibly useful um just yeah to help your sachongsu uh take ground basically the sachongsu okay. 85 uh, just again a decent value for money 10 point infantry squad um, they have the M60, which has 980 meter range, which is really strong because um, when they're in a defensive position, they can engage infantry from a very long distance. So that's what I really like about the 
to Chongsu 85. Um, 20 points, basically, between them for that infantry squad and basically an LVTP. It's an absolute steal. Okay, Yeah. Cool. Um, then I have uh, two cards of Shuju Buntai 90, and these are both in Hachi Kaioshikis. Uh, I have one squad at Trained and one squad at Hardened, mainly to change the veterancy of the Hachi Kaioshiki over the Shuju Buntai squads. The Shuju Buntai is still pretty decent, um, but not the best. Still regular infantry, 15 point regular infantry, have a better AT weapon and a better machine gun than the Sichongsu. Um, well, they lack the range that the Sichongsu have, but it's got better accuracy. Um, so yeah, a decent infantry squad again, but the Hachi Kaioshiki is the reason you bring them. Um, they, it has a 3 AP power auto cannon. That's a 35mm cannon with 50% accuracy. Uh, it's just incredibly useful for taking out enemy APCs, especially, and enemy light vehicles. And also has uh, the Sacklos missiles of 45% accurate uh, 17 AP power uh, missiles, which can also be used to hit heavier armor, which is, uh, again, very useful. So in, yeah. in combination with the KA FV 4050s, uh, they synergize very well. Cool. Um, then, uh, finally, I've got uh, a man pad squad, the PSAM. Uh, these have 70% accuracy. Uh, 2450 meter range so not too short on their range either with 5 uh, HE power so a nice strong man pad squad to finish off excellent silver uh, um, I also got the Soshang Su 85s and the KAFV 4050s like Vulcan said uh, very good value for money uh, both the uh, truck and the infantry Especially if you put the Soshang Su 85s next to U.S. Riflemen, which are the same points. They kind of outclassed them, I think. Uh, so, so, yeah, very good. Um, I also missed this Vulcan. I originally got another stack of Soshang Su 85s, but in the KAFV 25s with those auto cannons. But then when you said the uh, Soyu Buntai 90s in the Hachiku Shiki, I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I, I miss these? So I just swapped them out just now. Uh, got uh, like you said, they're very good uh, trucks, pretty good infantry uh, to go along with it. I also got the uh, Jikasa Hiwagi Ban, the uh, recoilless rifle. Uh, and I, I've had fairly good success with this. I, you can get a lot of them out. They're very good at just sort of uh, peppering the enemy. A little bit of uh, yeah, distance to keep... Uh, vehicles and stuff away from villages so it's better to kind of hold a village so your tanks don't have to worry about it if an enemy doesn't push help keep them away i also got some chew mat because these are very good anti-tank squad um so i got these to help more control once i have the control of the village to keep uh tanks and other stuff away so i got a stack of chew mats and then of course i got some P Sams as well. Uh, I decided between the Mistral and the P Sams, but the P Sams do have the longer range uh, over the Mistral, so I decided to get those as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, mine's very easy to do. I got the P Sams as well, but I got two sets of them, both in the Nana Sanchikis. Got to go for that 70% uh, accuracy. Uh, and then for my infantry, I've gone for three sets of the Soyeonju Bantai's 90s, all in Hachi Yushikis. So I haven't kind of comboed mine up with the uh, ones that you've got. I've basically just gone for one type of infantry. Could be a mistake, but look how many of those lovely um, infantry fighting vehicles i get so i've got all those to play with in the game and that's they can masquerade infantry. as tanks they can masquerade as tanks in your tank column <laughs> they can and they've did one other thing to mention is they have got a 30 percent stabilizer as well yeah on that, on that cannon uh yeah so that's pretty cool so let's move on to the support all right well first thing i decided is to figure out um Armor pushes, they like to keep moving, so stabilizer is important, especially AA that has a stabilizer. So I got the K30 BIHO, because even though it has a 15% stabilizer, it's not that good. It's still uh, get a few shots off before you can kind of stop the column and try to shoot down the helicopter. 
Uh, it is radar, so you got to be careful for that, but it's still pretty good. I also got the uh, KM-163. Uh, uh, it's not radar, but it uh, probably pretty much never stops firing, I think, uh, Vulcan said in the previous video, uh, and shooting down uh, helicopters. So I got those for a little non-radar uh, AA to help. I also got some Hawk Pips, because these are pretty good uh, against helicopters and aircraft, like but the bane of most armor uh, uh, armor divisions is that you don't have the lack of AA. Our helicopters are very good at taking out tanks, so I had to make sure those are down. And then finally I got some mortars so that I could smoke an area so I could advance an armor column across uh, without being pot-shotted in a well-dug-in, hidden enemy. So. Okay. so that's my support. All right, cool. I've got uh, two units of uh, iHawk Pip 2s, um, basically staple radar AA, 55% accuracy with 4,200 meter range um, with 9 HE power, definitely worth having. Um, then I've got a unit of gun tanks. Uh, these are very similar to the Beho. They cost the same but are better in my opinion. Um, the the Beho does have the amphibious capability, but I honestly prefer the gun tank. It's much more similar to uh, the Gepards uh, than the Beho is. So that's my preference there. Then I have the K263s, the upgrade of the KM163 that you were just talking about. Um, it is radar, but yeah, this is the one that I was previously talking about it being an absolute beast. Um, it has like pretty much the same weapon, so you're going to get that same amount of firepower. I just uh, prefer having the extra 20% accuracy there, and also the uh, much better range against airplanes. 2,450 meters against airplanes, 2,625 meters against helicopters as well. So it's only going to get outranged by the best ATGMs, and uh, yeah, it's generally a really, really good anti-air vehicle. I really like the K263. So you've got all radar for your AA. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I, yeah. I'm confident that I could micro it enough. And also the K263 is cheap anyway, so I wouldn't necessarily care if I lost one to uh, a seed missile because the likelihood fair is enough. that the one next to it would shoot down the seed aircraft anyway. Um, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and, and the, the, only, the, the one good thing about using cheap radar in front of expensive radar is that it your, protects the expensive it radar. It does protect the expensive radar as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. But even I might, all of the I radar in, is not even that expensive, though, in this deck. Um, mm -hmm. I really like the cost of the, the unit, the support units in this deck. Um, but yeah, finally, I have uh, the K55 artillery unit, just for some long range artillery that doesn't have too much dispersion, can hit what you want it to, and does have 7 HE power, so it's pretty powerful. It's basically the uh, like a paladin, basically. Yep. Cool. Alright, well, you, you did convince me, Vulcan, on the fact that the cheaper radar and everything, so I will swap out my uh, infrared Vulcan gun for the radar Vulcan gun. Okay, well, the bane of my life, of course, is radar-guided AA, and you have pretty much no choice in this deck but to get radar-guided guided AA. I've got the K30BIHOs, or B1HOs, whatever they are. Uh, they are a prototype. They are a really nice unit. They fire really fast and just take choppers out of the sky like nobody's business. They are a really nice unit. They also have better autonomy than the gun tank, uh, slightly, and yeah. they're a little bit faster. Well, I've actually got a set of the K30s, but I got a set of the gun tanks as well. Um, the, I don't know why I did that. I just think I wanted just a little bit of flexibility and the gun tanks a little bit better armored, you know, a little bit better stabilizer, mm -hmm. but nothing much in it, to be perfectly honest. It's just, just a bit of extra armor, really, is all they're good for. Yeah, the gun tanks do seem better. And then I've got some uh, normal Hawks, the I Hawks. Now I've got the I Hawks and I didn't get the Hawk Pips in this case. And there was a reason, I think. Let me just have a quick scan these over. Yeah, they're, they're 10 points more, the pit, they're, they're 10 points less, 
but the all you lack is what a bit of accuracy i think that's and all also you lack. the range on the helicopter and the range on the helicopters yeah but that but the helicopters i'm really hoping that the bihos and the gun takes take care of the helis and these guys take care of the uh planes for me so i think there by reasons yeah it is the helicopter range really more than anything but i think these things are really built to take out the uh, planes and just sit back behind the lines a little bit uh so that's my a8 and for my artillery as is often the case with me i've gone for a whole bunch of mortars i've got 14 k242s two sets um just uh, in case my uh infantry get bogged down or my tanks can't get past an area that's full of infantry and that is my support so moving on to the big section the tanks vulcan okay um the, the tanks in this were you know they're, they're surprisingly good a lot of people will look at blue dragon and they'll say, oh, you know, it's, it's Blue Dragon, you know, there can't be anything great about that. You know, they're going to be using Japanese and South Korean tanks. But yeah, if it was one or the other, it wouldn't be so great because you'd either have the Kairi Marushikis or the K1s. But in this case, because it's Blue Dragon, you get both. So, <laughs> of course, I do have both. I've got two cards of the Kairi Marushikis. Um, both are veterans so I get as many of them as possible because they are most the most OP tank on the blue four side they have 70% accuracy 22 AP power 65% stabilizer and 12 rounds per minute it's just yeah. insane that is absolutely you don't really need that. insane you don't really need that elite status do you no you definitely do not um, they're going to be hitting targets left, right, and center, picking off all the APCs, all the medium tanks, and then just when they come up against the heavy, it's got no chance as long as it last, lands that first hit. Um, so yeah, Kaya Marishiki, very, very strong uh, tank. Yep. Um, then to follow up, I do have a card of the K1A1s. Um, these are basically a small downgrade i guess from the kai marishikis 20 points less and you suffer from a five percent deficit on accuracy uh 10 percent on stabilizer and of course you lose three rounds per minute which is kind of annoying um, i wish it sort of retained the rate of fire but um, obviously that would be pretty op so yeah the k1a1 still a very good tank for its cost so i've got those as well but i've actually brought those in at elite so i've only got two of those uh, it is better armored and also has better autonomy, so it kind of can go farther if you want to do farther pushes or something. So, yeah, oh, it's not better armored. Uh, on the back and top, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, most of the time I would only base off uh, front armor because if you're going to take a side shot anyway, you're going to die. Um, then, yeah, moving on, I have two cards of the K1s, and I do have them yeah. as veteran, so I can get as many as possible. I'm going to be using these as my staple tanks throughout the games, so I'm going to be using a lot, and I want as many as I can get. They have 60% accuracy, 50% stabilizer, and a 9 rounds per minute. Again, just incredible value for money, 85 points for that, and also the 16 AP power. These things are crushing, and they also have 17 front armor. The, the cost of these is so disproportionate to other medium tanks that you can get on the Blue Force side. So, M1 IP. Yeah, getting, getting like 24 of these is just insane. Um, then, anyway, moving on, I've got a card of the Nani Yon Shiki Gs. Uh, these are surprisingly effective against infantry, mainly because they have the grenade launcher. I guess it's not much of a surprise then, but yeah, they have the grenade launcher and they also have incredible accuracy. So these can engage tanks at very long range and generally win. Uh, they have 10 rounds per minute with 65% accuracy and 55% stabilized, 17 AP power. Um, you keep these sort of hidden in a tree line and you're engaging at max distance. They will, in they will win their engagements and they'll often pick off a lot of APCs while they're doing it as well. So yeah a very very nice tank and then if you want to roll up closer and kill some infantry you can do that um moving on i have the nanny on cheeky e's and the nanny on cheeky e retains the same amount of accuracy and uh stabilizer as the nanny on cheeky g uh, pretty much just loses 
the AP power and the grenade launcher for 10 points. So in my opinion, still a very cost effective tank. Um, then I also have the Nanayon Shiki C and the Nanayon Shiki A. Again, just this downgrades for, for less points. You're making a big jump from the E to the C, but um, I think, you know, when you're getting to the lower point tanks, they're still very good value for money. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all my tanks. Excellent. Silver. I also got uh, the two cards of Kiyomaru Shiki's because they're very good. I got the cards of the K1A1s. Uh, I got those at Veteran, uh, just as backup for Kiyomaru Shiki's in case the enemy somehow manages to kill my Kiyomaru Shiki's. I have more K1A1s to bring in. And then, of course, the K1s, which is kind of the whole reason why you'd make a Blue Dragon uh, armor deck. Uh, South Korean armor deck actually gives you four more K1s, uh, but then you'd be stuck with the uh, M48 AS or 5K and all that. Those really, really crappy tanks that the South Koreans have to fill up the rest of your tab. So I think trade off of four less K1s for better tanks that the Japanese can bring in is a better, uh, is a really good trade, especially since you already bring in 24 K1s. I also got the Nanayon Shiki G. These are very good infantry killers and tank killers. I also got the Nanayon Shiki A's. Uh, I just think these are very good. It's kind of pushing to the front line to engage uh, some engage kind of like uh, tank interception shots that are basically to take out infantry. They're also good infantry support. And I also got two cards of M41A1s uh, at uh, a, a veteran. So I have, uh, let me do the math quickly, 58 of these 10 point tanks. And the reason why I picked these tanks is Bubble knows this. They single-handedly put us from a 1,000-point uh, deficit to a 500-point surplus with just having all of these in the front and all of his K1s behind me. Uh, it's taking out an entire enemy tank and armor division. Uh, I think Bubble remembers that. Yep. Is that it for your tanks? Yeah, that's it for my tanks. Cool. Well, I'm very, very similar. Of course, I've got exactly the same. Kaya Marashiki's two cards of K1A1s. Two cards of K1s, and then I've got the Nana Yonshiki Gs. I like these as a nice little tank. Not many tanks have auto cannons, and uh, so they can defend themselves against those infantry as well if they come across. You mean the, frag grenades? In, sorry, frag grenades can defend themselves against the infantry. Yeah, and then I have got two cards of M4 1A1s. Except I haven't got mine at uh, Veteran. I've got mine at Harden, so I've got 72. So, I don't there. think you need quite oh that many. Oh my god, you dirty spammers. And do you know why? <laughs> do you know why I got these? And you remember the old T-34? You've got to remember the T-34 spams uh, uh, Vulcan. The M414 has got a stabilizer on its main gun for 10 points. The the bad thing is their autonomy is only 200 kilometers, so they're going to break down before they and get to the And also their enemy. range is only 1,575. Uh, yeah, that's true as well. But, but that's the are, same as the T-34. Yeah, they're definitely a pure spam tank. Run them at the enemy. They can fire with their stabilizer and their machine gun. They only cost 10 points. I mean... I don't know. I still think they have application in like small groups of four <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. Like If you put them into a forest, um, four of yeah. these up against like one heavy tank is still going to be really strong so yeah. yeah definitely that's worth considering cool but that very quickly is all my tanks pretty yeah. much so moving on to the reconnaissance i think you're still going silver reconnaissance reconnaissance uh the first thing i grabbed was the jsdf rangers in chukata trucks because these are very good infantry with a sniper rifle 10 man squads uh bit of a frontliner in Sniper rifle squad to do with my infantry, so uh, pretty good. I also got the OH-6 helicopter CV. Uh, I got these because, I mean, helicopter CV can see more, and uh, sometimes when you're basically sitting on a uh, tree line, the tree line with an open field, you kind of need a helicopter CV. You can sometimes see the enemy better in those woods, uh, I think. But, so yeah, I got uh, that helicopter. Yep. And finally, I got the K. A F V ninety because I mean it's an armored deck so get everything that kind of lo or is pretending to be a tank that you can in this deck I think so okay. that's all my recon cool yeah Vulcan mm -hmm. I've got the two squads of JSDA 
JSDF Rangers. Yeah, great squads, shock infantry uh, with the DMR. Just, yeah, very, very powerful. Um, I've got one squad in the KV-107 and one in the Chugata, uh, just for a bit of versatility. I have the uh, KAFB-90 as well. Um, I actually think it's a pretty decent value for money unit. Uh, 2,100 meter range, 50% accuracy. You know, yeah. it, it does have some serious firepower for 30 points, so yes, that's it definitely pretty, does. pretty nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I do have the OH-6 as well. Very good recon. So that's all my recon. Yeah, very similar. I got the OH six D as well. Pretty much of a no brainer brainer over the other chopper, which costs fifteen points more. Even the, uh, even though oh, you, it's have very the, good. you have the six D. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, just have, I, I don't. Oh, I have the other. Oh, one. I thought it was no brainer. Maybe it's not a no brainer. Oh God, what have I said? It's, a, it's good optics, <laughs> but it has fourteen rocket pods. Yeah, it has rocket pods, and um, it's just. 15 points less so i just thought yeah it's got to be better really but anyway i think it's, it's got better. good optics over the oh6 which has very good optics yeah anyway i've got the kaf v90 as well and a set of the jsdf rangers i've got mine in the chugatas just to accompany my infantry onto the battlefront so that's it for my infantry cool and vehicle wise uh vulcan yeah have you got any? Uh, well, I've got one. Uh, I've got the KM-132. Just to provide a little bit of napalm walls, you know, like spread some napalm everywhere. Um, yeah. Obviously, the bane of tanks is going to be like infantry sometimes. So you're going to need something to deal with that. And these are little 20-point cheap things to, to help you uh, suppress those infantry. And also create smoke walls to uh, stop HGMs side-shotting you. Yeah. Or firewall. Honestly, if you're quick enough, uh, like an HGM mid-flight, if you manage to get that napalm down just in time, you can like napalm your own tank and make it invisible. Um, so not, that really? I would, not that I would recommend <laughs> it, but uh, <laughs> you know, if you're quick enough, you can probably get away with it. <laughs> okay. I've never seen anyone do that yet. But I'll be watching. Pro that, strats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Silver. All right. Well... I also got the uh, KM-132 uh, napalm, like I said, with the firewall. I hope uh, I hoped you guys got the firewall joke that I did in there. Uh, but um, I also got the... Uh, <laughs> you might... might uh, uh, Vulcan especially might look at me like, what? I got the M-18s as well. At the little bit, they're 10 points to go up with my other 10-point tanks. And they're basically just to provide a little more fire support. I just thought they're very fast at a speed of 100 kilometers an hour. So I just thought let's bring these in. They're going to be fast because they're they're just you're just a t just an out tin can. I mean, <laughs> got any armor? That's why they're fast. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, why? Yeah, yeah. Like, bring it, bring it on, people. It's not even worth ten points. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least the other little tank had a stabilizer and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Swap it out, man. Is that it for your vehicles? All right. If you guys want me to swap it out, I'll do it for my Rensu recoilless rifles. Okay. Well, I've got one vehicle, just one. It's the KM113A1 Ito. I didn't really know what else to get, to be honest. Um, I could have got the napalm launchers, I guess, but I went for the Ito. Probably won't use it, but it's there just in case I need it. So moving on to the helicopters. Um, is it silver again? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got the AH-1S. Um, yeah. yeah, very good. I mean, they have decent helicopters for an armored column. Not many decks have that option. Yeah, Vulcan, yeah, you got that as mine's well. Mine's pretty much exactly the same. Just one card of the AH-1S. Um, I, I, I actually got them hardened as well, just to buff the ITO missiles a little bit if I need it. So yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Actually, what have I done here? I've done something wrong. Oh, yes. No, I have got them as well. Of course I have. Yeah. I've got two right. stacks. Two, two stacks, though. Both are hardened. Yeah. Nice let's do little, the contest. Nice, nice, nice little attack chopper. Now, let's do a contest. Who's got the South Korean version and who's got the Japanese version of the AH-1S? I've got the South Korean. I've got the Japanese. I got the South Korean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. What's this aircraft I've just clicked on? Anyway, moving on to the aircraft. That is an ugly aircraft. We'll come on yeah, to that in the a second. Yeah, the dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the first thing that pops up when you click wow, on this Wow, that was just scary. Right, okay. Uh, aircraft. Who's heading off? Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan. Yeah, I have to begin with the F1. Um, this is the best bomber you can get. Well, it's not a bomber. It's like, you know, it's like the tank killer, basically, because it has the SAL missiles, um, fire and forget, basically bombs, uh, guided bombs that can kill tanks pretty easily. Laser yeah. guided bombs, yeah. That you you, pull, you click on a point and those bombs will land right at that point. Yeah, 12 HG power. I think it takes more than one of these to actually kill a tank, but, you know, they're, they're decent and they're fast. They're 20% ECM. Thousand kilometer per hour speed for only ninety points, you get those Sal missiles. Um, I don't know why they're called missiles; they're laser guided bombs, aren't they? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they are laser guided bombs. Yeah, it's weird how they label it, but anyway, um, yeah, decent aircraft. Then I've got a card of FE or F4 EJ Kai's. Uh, these are your bombers, um, but they're also a little bit of air superiority at the same time. Um, they have eight. 340 kilogram bombs with 12 HE power. So they're actually pretty strong bombs. These carpet an area pretty well. Um, they also have, of course, like I said, they ha do have SEMAC radar missiles. So a bit longer in like air to air missile than you would normally get with a bomber, which makes them, you know, useful if you're going to bring out a swarm of air to air sort of uh, like an air-to-air -air combat going on. They have 20% ECM again, pretty quick, 900 km per hour speed. They do get in and out of there pretty quickly. And of course they have the Vulcan uh, gun. So if they get into gun range of anything, they're going to shoot it down pretty quickly. And yep. um, finally, I have a card of the F-15Js. These are the best uh, air superiority I think you can get other than the is it the f16 there's an f16 yeah block 52 but you can only get one of them so i prefer to get the two f15 j's instead and uh, they have 60 percent accuracy on the infrared missiles 50 percent accuracy on the uh radar missile but yeah those are semi-active you know they're, they're actually pretty decent generally you'd want to bring them both in together because they're not right. exactly most the most reliable aircraft on their own um, and i see them get shot down quite regularly but you can't really go without them okay so yeah that's all my aircraft so over well, when I was designing uh, this deck, uh, like I said, the biggest bane for tanks is aircraft. So I got all air superiority fighters save for one. I've got the F-15Js, like Vulcan. I actually got some KF-16C. Uh, uh, and even though they only have one stack of uh, missiles, that's still six AMRAAM missiles, which are very, very powerful. Uh, so that still provides pretty good air superiority. And then I also got some KF-SE just song hose for a bit of closer range uh support kind of uh yeah to, to get up close and they can also shoot at helicopters um if i got five of them they're a little cheap so uh not too bothered if they're shot down they're basically to just keep the airplanes away from my tanks and then i got some f5a's with the four napalm because basically infantry is also another main problem for the tank so if you can napalm an area where infantry is uh that's good for uh you know, killing the infantry, I guess. So those are my planes. Okay. Well, they're all nice planes apart from the F5As. It's just the lack of ECM. I just don't think you can play yeah. Red Dragon with a plane with no ECM. That's all, really. Unless it's end game stuff where you've won already. <laughs> but for, so for, but for my planes, I've got similar apart from that. I've got a, one of, a set of two of the, uh, or two of the F4 EJ KAIs with the uh, big bombs and also the lovely uh, 6,300 meter range Sparrow missiles as well, which are very, very useful, especially if the enemy are kind of defending more with air superiority rather than ground anti-air makes it makes this plane really really useful because to go to to go with them i've got two kf 16c block 52 d's uh brilliant plane and i've got two of them to bring in as well and that's my seed aircraft. missiles yeah well seed missiles and um four amran 
Fire and Forgets as well. So, yeah. yeah, the Block 52 is really good. I just didn't really have enough activation points to put yeah, both of them yeah. in. Yeah. That's it for my aircraft, I think. Yeah. All right. So, who is going to go first and pick the K1? I'll do it. For the favorite unit. Go on, then. Is it yours? I already taking did. it? Okay. Yeah, I'm taking it. He's claimed yeah. it. <laughs> He's claimed it. Well, we can claim it as well, but do you want to pick something different, Vulcan? Uh,. I'm going to stick with my little K263. <laughs> this thing is just, I, I love the little Vulcan on that thing. It's like my little mascot, the K263. Okay. It's honestly it is funny. incredible. It is, funny see, it, is, it is funny to see that thing never stop firing if there's enough helicopters. Yeah, I swear to God, it like fires more than the PVADs. I don't know if it's it just does. because not many people bring in PVADs because like the Americans have sometimes a lot better AA, but... Yeah, like the K two six three is just incredible. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I've, I've I've actually compared the PVAD actually will stop uh, for a brief break, like uh, for a couple seconds every once in a while, whereas the K two six threes just don't stop firing. Okay, I'm going to go for the KF sixteen C Block fifty two D. Pretty awesome aircraft because you're combining your seed with your anti air as well. So if all those anti air fighters come out after you, you've still got four fire and forget missiles to shoot at them to try to keep them at bay. So yeah, really liking this aircraft, especially as I got two of them. Yeah, 50% ECM, you can't go wrong. And with myself finishing with that little note, I'd like to thank Bubble Box and Silver Raptor for letting me help them with their deck videos. If you'd like to see more like this, then please make sure you check out Bubble Box's channel in the description. He does a lot of videos that I don't, so make sure you go check them out. A video with this deck will be recorded very soon. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.